Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Ease by Varsha. We are doing Core Java interview questions. So this is the question we have. What is a Java? So how does Java garbage collector works? What is a memory leak? And how can it be prevented? So there are three parts to this question. Number one is it talks about how the GC works. Then what is a memory leak and how can you prevent it? These are the three parts. So let's take it one by one. So what is GC? In simple words, it is a background process that runs behind the scenes. What it does is when we create objects, what are objects? We have a class, we create an object, the runtime instance of that. Objects are created dynamically on the heap. Heap is a data structure. What Java garbage collector does is it is responsible for automatic memory management. I don't have to allocate memory. I don't have to free up memory. Garbage collector will do it on my behalf. So what it does, it will periodically check if objects are still being used. If not, it will free up the memory. So this is the keyword over here, freeing up the memory of the unused objects. Like there are certain objects, there are 10, 5, there are 5 objects which is hogging up memory. But these 5 objects are no longer used. What do I do? Do I manually clean it up? No. The GC will clean it up for me. So that is how in very basic terms the garbage collector works the objects which are not being used it is going to clean it up so that the user don't have to worry about freeing up the memory why freeing up the memory is important because when my application keeps on running i create new objects i keep on increasing the volume and the scale so if the automatic cleanup of the objects don't happen is what will lead eventually to out of memory exception which we are seeing later on in in the memory leak slide so that is why jc is very important now how it does so there is an algorithm which it uses. There are different GC algorithms, garbage collector algorithms. Mark and sweep is one of the popular algorithm it uses to determine which objects are still being used. Still being used, what it means? Still being used, matlab, if your class A is there and you are doing a new A and you are using this new A, let's say I'm storing it in some reference variable A, this reference variable where it's pointing to this object. Now, I am still using this object. When I will not use this object, a very simple use case will be, suppose I make it A equal to null. It means I am no longer using this object. But if it is an active uh, object that is being used, then GC is not going to touch it. But if it is not, what it will do is, it will mark all the objects that are still being used. And then it will go through the heap and free up the object which are unmarked. So suppose I have some objects like this. So among this, this object is being used, this is being used, but this is not used. So it has it has marked these two. Whatever is unmarked will be cleaned up. That object will be freed up. From where it is going to be freed up? From the heap. So there, there are different GC algorithms like we said. So each of them will use a different technique. But if you have to answer this question in an interview, you just have to say what GC does why GC is important and what technique it can use to clean up the unused objects from the heap. Now let's move on to the next part of the question that memory leaks. When can memory leak happen? So like we were talking about this key word that out of memory uh, exception can happen. So out of memory error can happen when it happens. So what is memory leak? It is a situation when the application keeps on holding objects that are no longer needed. Now, like we said, mark and sweep algorithm. These are the three objects. So this is needed, it will mark. This is needed, it will mark. And this is unmarked, so it will be freed up. Now, out of these two, which is marked, let's say the first object is being used. It is actively referenced, but I actually am not using it. I'm just keeping on, like, I'm just holding on to it. I'm just reserving some memory for this first object, but I'm actually not using that object. So what will happen is this is going to prevent the garbage collector from freeing up the memory. Because it is already marked and it is being actively referenced, the garbage collector will think that there's an active object and it is not going to clean it up. When this kind of thing happens for a large number of objects that they're unnecessarily held up, being marked, garbage collector is thinking that it is still in use, then as a result of that, if there's a large number of objects, maybe millions of objects, eventually it will cause the application to consume more and more memory. And then it will lead to out of memory error. So this is what 
out of memory error or memory leak situation these are same one and the same thing so this is one reason why memory leaks happen like we said holding on to the references that are no longer needed or you are creating too many objects without releasing them okay or you are using external resources okay so the third point is something related to exception handling so uh, we use try catch block okay so what we do is suppose there is a database connection which i am using in the we use something called a finally block so anything any resource which has some external uh, implication like io network file and all of that we try to close that i have used my database connection whatever work i wanted to do with the database and i want to close the connection many a times people don't close it so if they don't close it as a result of that that can also lead to this memory hogging situation so there are three reasons why memory leaks can happen holding on to reference is no longer needed if we are creating too many objects and we are not cleaning it up uh, properly or we have some external resource uh, connection and we are not properly releasing them or closing them now that wraps up about the memory leaks the next question how can we prevent the memory leaks so the first thing what we can do is we can set the object references to null like we were saying that we created a reference of new a and we set it to null the moment you set it to null gc will be now all independent to free up that uh, whatever memory it was allocating to that particular object secondly is releasing the external uh, resources when they are not needed using the try with resources statement this is very important i can later on have a detailed uh, video explaining the try with resources uh, so this is one technique which we can use for optimized coding uh, so that whenever there is some kind of external resources being used and i forget to close it because of this usage of this try with resources i don't have to manually remember to close it it will be done automatically so that is the second thing third is i should not be creating too many objects unnecessarily and try to reuse existing object on the third point i want to say that uh, in case of string what happens is the reason why string builder there is a class called string builder we will again touch upon that in some point in time string builder what it does is okay a normal string what it will do is if i keep on creating new string like this i have a class and i create a new string object if i keep on doing new string new string every time my heap memory will keep on adding up new objects so instead of that i will use string builder to concatenate with my existing string so i have hello and to that i uh, concatenate another string to that i concatenate another string to that i concatenated another string so the internal mechanism i don't want to go into that but what i am trying to say is if you want to create too many objects try to use any system which is going to not create too many objects unnecessarily and we can reuse the existing object so this is one example related to string that instead of doing new string new string every time try to concatenate it and don't try to take memory resources unnecessarily and finally using memory profiling tools to identify memory leaks so this is like the last part is like to troubleshoot and to debug from where it is happening this is not an active prevention of memory leak but it is more like a uh, later uh, this is more like on the observability metric side that if you have already done what you have done and you want to see from where it is happening you can use these tools to identify from where it is happening but from coding perspective if i have to say then these three points are important so this is all about the question how gc works garbage collector works what is a memory leak and how can we prevent memory leaks so thank you so much for watching the video